Hello everybody, this is Toolslab. Appreciate to see you. In this video we will learn about utilizing Photoshop to make glass image, which makes background image refraction. We will use glass filter and liquify effect. Okay then. Let's get started. In this video we will use Photoshop CC. Follow my steps slowly. For the duration of video, I already type text. I created this document by going to File, New. Make the width 3000. And height 4000 pixels. Type in 150 resolution. Pick RGB color mode. Then I clicked Create for this canvas size. Let's change text color. Press T to open text and click Color Picker. Press Color Name. I'll change heart shape color. Click shape tool, for select custom shape tool. I got heart graphic, from custom shape picker. Go to fill, and hit color picker. Press F, A, 4, C, 0, 0. Go to background layer, and unlock it. Click, add a layer style, to open gradient overlay. The style is linear, and the angle is zero degree. Click gradient and change color. Leave bright side and dark side for white. Click OK. Go to File, Save As. Save name to background. Choose JPEG format. Hit OK. Click Shape Tool. Press and hold ALT and SHIFT as you drag out heart image will be approximately this size. Go to fill and choose black. Delete stroke. Press and hold ALT and SHIFT drag out to copy layer. Click layers with SHIFT press. Now let's duplicate layers. Select shape layers and merge shapes. Go to layer style and bevel emboss. Let's modify now. The style is inner bevel. The technique is smooth. and the depth is a 272%. The size is 103 pixels. And the soften is 1. The angle is a 63 degrees. Altitude is 32 degrees. Pick another gloss contour. The highlight is white. Shadow is black, and multiply mode. Then click OK. Right-click directly on the shape layer, and hit, Convert to Smart Object. Click Eyeball Icons, to hide layers. Go to File, Save As. I'll type in Bump Map. Now, save this image as a Photoshop format. Let's open image we have saved. Go to filter, filter gallery. Select distort, and glass. Let's load texture. Load bump map PSD. 
The distortion is 20. The smoothness is 10. Remain scale to 100%. And click OK. Go to document we made first. Drag layer to JPEG. Let's adjust image position. Go to blend mode and click screen. Is cool. Unlock background layer. Go to filter and liquify. The brush size is 500, the pressure is 100, and the density is 50. And then let's modify image through brush. I'll play video more faster. Click OK. Now we have done. So that's all for Tool Slabs. Utilize what you learned and make awesome images. Just below the video, there is a reference link to the image that I used. Please keep an eye on more videos to come. Thank you so so much for watching this tutorial.